Our company is translating an integrative model of human physiology, HUMOD, that's been developed over the last 40 years at UMMC to the marketplace. There are a couple of trends that we see in healthcare in the United States right now. The first is that we're trying to reduce the costs of healthcare and make it more efficient without necessarily just redistributing those costs to other parts of the economy. So part of that involves making drugs available uh, less expensively or devices available less expensively, which means that we have to reduce the cost of clinical trials in the development process. The in silico approach to medicine is critical for the future. It represents the ability to test therapies in patients before you try them on the patients themselves. This can make medicine more efficient, reduce the costs that are associated with medicine, and improve outcomes. If we can reduce the costs of entering the market, then we can allow more therapies potentially to find their market. By paying more attention to patient specificity over this process, devices that may not work in a large population may find their niche. And silico clinical studies is a critical tool for achieving that end. Personalized medicine will be the only kind of medicine practiced in the future. We have to recognize that treating populations is not sufficient. Patients come to see physicians for care. We treat patients. By recognizing the differences between patients and treating patients differently, we can make healthcare more economic, we can make outcomes better, we can improve the whole system. We have a new collaboration with ANSYS that I think will be very fruitful. By using ANSYS domain-specific knowledge with our lumped parameter organism level model, we hope to provide tools that physicians can use to make their treatment options for patients clearer and to make their outcomes better. The types of tools that I believe we will develop together will be applicable not just to our model, but to any lumped parameter model. And so this is something that offers great benefit, not just to our group and to ANSYS, but to the simulation community at large.